when I was chosen as the student of the year, I felt so happy. I felt incredible, on top of the world. It was awesome. It was everything I had hoped for when I walked in as a freshman. It was my goal, and knowing that all my work had paid off was really an amazing feeling for me. My role model would have to be my mom. She's my rock. She's awesome. I'm basically a clone of her. She's everyone who I look up to in one person. I consider myself to be a leader, 100%. I have, throughout my four years at high school, tried everything in my power to set an example and to be a good person through the example that other people have showed me and also to make my own path. My biggest accomplishment is being band president this year. It was huge for me. I tried so hard, done all the honor bands, done everything in my power to get there. And when my name was on that paper, it was pure joy and happiness running through me. My favorite subject would have to probably be math. I know that's not something a lot of kids can say. And I absolutely love all of my math teachers. They just, they make everything so easy for me to understand. And it really helps because they're so influential and math is just awesome. <laughs>When I found out that I was a student of the year for my school, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. I was in a robotics lab actually, and people walked walk behind the door. It was pretty amazing. They took me to the main lobby, we took pictures. They felt great, I was really excited for it. Yeah. To be able to see my parents there and see the administrators there and to get that, that award, that was an amazing experience. I didn't even think I was gonna get it, so that was pretty awesome. I think I would say I'm a leader because uh, you know, in my community, it's been great to work with people on local clubs and things like robotics to become the team co-captain of it, to work with them like that, to integrate with our community members and make our community a better place through STEM and through ideas like science and math. I think in terms of the biggest accomplishment, uh, back in 2019 actually, we were in robotics at the World Finals in Houston. We got all the way to the quarterfinals and that was awesome because we'd never gone that far before. I think being able to do that to see if it's possible before our wheel broke unfortunately and we couldn't go farther, that was an amazing moment for me and using your skills to actually compete and advance yourself in a competitive environment, that's, that's an unprecedented experience. That's, I wouldn't give that up for anything, in my opinion. I think that uh, in terms of doing after high school, definitely going to college, going to med school is for me, I would think, because uh, having the ability to integrate technologies into the developing world to do it like that, but having a real world connection to real people too in med school, I think that's such a beautiful connection you can't find in any other field. So I think that's definitely what I want to do after college. When I was selected as my school student of the year, I was really excited. Um, I was just super happy about getting to represent Harryhurst Middle School because it is such a positive and impacting school on me personally just because it's a school that I enjoy going to. It's something that I want to go to every day and I get to see my friends and just build further relationships with everyone around me. So being student of the year, it just shows that I have been giving my best and giving my all and just being a good student along with a good person because people were able to notice that and I've just, it showed me that I'm a good person and I can do whatever I want. I help others, I bring them forward and I lead the way to better places and just being a better person. Some of my role models are my parents because they have been with me throughout my whole life and inspire me to be my best and also my biggest role model is my ALA teacher, Ms. Cayuette. She inspires me to do my best and she motivates everyone in the class to keep going. Art and theater improved my day because theater, I used to be really shy, but with theater, I've opened up. I've gotten way better at projection. I used to have a really soft voice, but I've just gotten better at everything from theater. It allows my creativity just to show based on my acting. And then along with that, talented art's very similar. It's just a class that I can enjoy. Both of those are give me the chance to be myself and allow me to enjoy my time at Enrichment. I found out I was selected as my school student of the year when I was in PE. Um, I was coming out of the locker room when my principal, Mr. Blood, and the administrators, Mr. Weeks and Ms. Reynard, were all standing in the gym 
and they were holding um, a bouquet of candy and they called my name up in front of everybody in the gym and we took pictures and it was a nice experience. My role model is definitely my dad. Because of him, I push myself to be the best that I can and I know that I can be great because he constantly tells me that he believes in me. And he's the only person really in my life who has shown me that they're truly proud of me and that he knows I can do incredible things. I consider myself to be a leader because I've always been the type of person to help others, especially like in class. Um, when someone says I need help, I'm the first person to step up. When I grow up, I'd like to be a lawyer. I love helping others and I love kind of debating. I figured lawyer would be a great um, career for me. Extracurriculars like cheer and student council add value to my school experience because it allows me to socialize with other kids that are outside of my class because I get to be part of a student body government, which is something different. I like being able to um, help others and be a voice for others. Um, with the cheer, it gives you something to kind of get your mind off of all the schoolwork and just have fun. When I found out that I was student of the year, I was extremely excited. I felt like I made my parents proud, my principal and my teachers proud, and it made myself feel proud because I was able to do something I've been wanting to do for a while. My biggest accomplishment is actually becoming captain of my cheer squad. Um, I have great communication skills and leadership skills, so I believe that I was able to become captain, and I have been able to lead my squad um, and be an example of a role model for them and help them in each and every way that they need. Um, no matter what, if it's dealing with school, I can still help them with that. Or just dealing with cheer, I can help them with their emotions and everything like that. My role model is actually my mother. Um, when I was in fifth grade, my mom was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. She was going through um, college. And she did not take a break with any of that because her dream was to become a teacher. She was motivated to become a teacher and now she's a teacher at St. Rose Elementary down the street from my school, Albert Cannon Middle School. When I grow up, I would love to be a pediatrician. I love taking care of kids. Um, being able to help them out during anything is something I enjoy doing. Um, actually, whenever I'm at school at St. Rose with my mom, I help her kids out. And like if they need help with something, I would make sure I would help them out with stuff. I help bring them to the carpool and the bus, and it makes me happy that I'm able to help them and create an impact on them. My role models are definitely my parents. They're always there for me, to guide me, to lead me to new things. They also let me try things on my own, and I've understood the positive and negative consequences from the actions that I took. Their leadership skills, everything they've done in their life, inspires me to be who I am. My biggest accomplishment is winning Student of the Year two times. Winning it one time is already a pretty difficult task. I'm proud that I've won it two times, and it represents all of my hard work, and it's being recognized. My favorite subject is social studies, especially American history. I've always found interest in the American electoral system, the way the government works, and social studies has been a great class where I have learned a lot about those topics to further enhance my knowledge on them. Taking part in the school band has definitely enhanced my experience at JB. I've always found an interest in music. Sometimes in class, my teachers will just catch me tapping on my desk, and that's a lot due to my love for music, especially percussion. I've learned a lot about music thanks to my amazing band directors. I'm proud of what I've done. For the future, I definitely plan to have some type of incorporation with law, government, especially state government. Um, there's a lot of awesome positions in the governor's cabinet that I'd be greatly interested in, possibly even being the governor or a senator of the state one day. I'm definitely interested in government. My biggest accomplishment so far would be getting student of the year. <laughs> so whenever they finally came on, I closed my ears up 
and um, just sat my head on the desk. And whenever they said my name, was, he said it so loud on the announcements that I still heard it. My class stood up and flipped out. So it was very exciting. So my granny took care of me for the first entire year of my life. And so she's just always been my role model because she's heard my first words. She knew everything about me first. While my, and this was all while my mom was sick, trying to do the best she could to take care of me. My favorite subject would be science because I love asking questions and investigating them in projects. We have a science lab and I love conducting experiments in there. Robotics Club adds value to my life because I loved building the Legos and doing the team building project. I would like to be either a scientist or a lawyer whenever I grow up. I want to be a scientist because, I, like I said, I love asking questions and doing investigations. And I'd like to be a lawyer because my Paran is a lawyer and he is my second role model in life. A few people that really inspired me is my older sister. Um, yeah, she's a big inspiration to me. She's an awesome sister. She, I want to do cheer when I'm older just like her. And um, my mom's a huge inspiration because um, she works so hard to, um, to provide for her family. And my aunt, she's a actor and I would really like to be an actor when I'm older. My favorite subject is ELA because I love writing and I, I'm really good at writing so it comes easily for me but I, I like working on handwriting. I feel like, I think that's really fun. I know sometimes I do take the lead in lots of things. I do feel like a leader but also um, I follow lots of people's paths and like I kind of go, sometimes I kind of go along with other people or thinking. The biggest accomplishment that I'm most proud of is probably dancing because I've been dancing since I was around two years old and I'm still dancing now. Um, I have recitals every year. It's so much fun to perform it um, on stage. I think choir is super fun. I, um, just a week or two ago we performed on stage. Um, soon we're going to be going to festival and I love singing. It's one of my favorite things to do besides dance. It, I find it really fun and a lot of my friends are in choir so it's, it, it's even funner doing it with them and having a blast with them. How I felt when I was selected as Margot Student of the Year, I felt super surprised. When I was in the room, I jumped up and my mouth was just wide open. just like. I can't believe this. My role model is two people, not one. It is my dad because he played in the NFL. Not only that, because of the sacrifices and the work he put in. And it's also my mom because she's very diverse. We joke about this all the time at home. She's like the family doctor. She's like a teacher. She's like the constructor. Right now she works on roofs. She does a lot more things too. My favorite subject is math. I like math because there's always an equation where you never solved. You have to never stop learning in math. Playing sports, it affects me at narco because it helps me with the values of like teamwork. I have to learn teamwork and respect because playing sports, you have to know how to respect your teammates and you have to know how to work with your teammates. When I grow up, I wanna go to college. I wanna get my bachelor's degree and then I want to be an architect. I want to build structures, and it includes drawing and math. And I love to do both of those things, so I think I would enjoy being an architect. I consider myself to be a leader because um, a little girl um, Anna Marie, she's eight years old and she looks up to me and so do my little cousins Rosie, Joey, and Riley. I am in Lakewood's Talented Theater and 
that's really fun because we did the play Charlotte's Web and um, it was really fun because we got to meet people from different schools and just like have a good time. And then I'm also in Talented Art there for enrichment because um, I really like to draw and like do arts and crafts and stuff and I'm also in choir. And so those are the things I'm in and I like to sing so that's why I like to be in choir. My favorite subject is ELA. I love to read and write and I would love to be an author when I'm um, a grown up because it's just like really fun and I like to read and write a lot. My biggest accomplishment is um, getting a skill called a back layout, which is a backflip, but you're just like straight because I have always been really like afraid and I just told myself, hey Layla, you can do it. And um, I just went for it and um, I did it in the grass and my mom was really proud of me and my whole family was too. When I was selected for Student of the Year for my school, I felt very proud and I was delighted and very happy to see what was my next challenge to go to the next level. I found out I was selected when I, I, was, during, I was in math and all the announcements, they called for me to go up to the office. And when I got there, everybody was there cheering for me and, and for a moment I was confused but then they all told me that I had won and I was surprised and very proud. I feel that theater and art add to my school experience because they challenge me. I love theater and art because I excel and it helps me be challenged and I look forward to it each day. When I grow up, I would like to be a MLB player or a person who reviews books. My role model to me is probably my grandfather because when um, Ida hit, we were devastated and he helped me get um, enrolled in a Texas school. He helped me with my homework and he really helped me get my life back on path after Ida. Well, I would say my role model is my brother, and it's because he always pushed me to be like a really good student, and he had me at this mindset to where I to where I should like do everything he does, but a little bit better. My biggest accomplishment right now is being student of the year because it took seven years of just working in this school to get this. My favorite subject is math because my teacher, Ms. Bordelon, always guided us through our lessons and we usually get a, at least two lessons done. When I grow up, I wanna be in the MBA and after that, I wanna be an engineer or entrepreneur of a barbershop. I'm interested in being an engineer because they they make a lot of things and I want to like like make things that just help the world. I don't know, uh, have a barber shop because uh, I, whenever I was little, I used to really just want to cut hair a lot. I want to be in the NBA because I love the game basketball. Playing drums adds value to my school experience because at like the concerts we do, it like it gives like music for other people to hear and I know my mom likes me playing it. At this time, we would like all of our students of the year to please make their way to the stage. You can enter by either door in the front where it's marked 
with the exit sign. Good evening. I am Erin Grognier, an Assistant Superintendent for St. Charles Parish Public Schools. It is an honor to serve as your Mistress of Ceremonies for the 2021-2022 St. Charles Parish Public Schools Student of the Year Premier. The Students of the Year Awards program is designed to recognize outstanding elementary, middle, and high school students. The program, Pattern After the Teachers of the Year program, is a wonderful opportunity to recognize those students who have demonstrated excellent academic achievement, leadership ability, and citizenship. To be selected as a student of the year, a student must earn a cumulative 3.1 grade point average and be in grade five, eight, or 12. All students of the year must compile a portfolio, write a biographical sketch, and be interviewed by a student achievement committee. This committee has the responsibility of selecting the parish level winners. Individuals serving on this year's committee are Teachers of the Year, Brittany Bonifons of Hornville High School, Jennifer Green of R.K. Smith Middle School, and Amber Minchu of Alamans Elementary School. Community representatives, Peyton Chasson of Oxy, John Diaz of the United Way of St. Charles, and Matthew Rosenboom of IMTT. And school system representative, Jerry Smith, Executive Director of Student Services. Will any selection committee members in attendance please stand for a round of applause. We will recognize each school level student of the year tonight with an acrylic plaque version of their movie poster. I ask that family members in the theater please stand at your seats as your student moves to the backdrop to receive his or her award and take a picture with Superintendent Dr. Ken Ortling and School Board President Al Suffren. 2021-2022 Students of the Year. High School Students of the Year, Gracie Crochet of Hornville High School. Bodanch Ravapati of Destrahan High School.
Middle School Students of the Year, Hannah Burst of Harry Hurst Middle School. Layla DeLeon of R.K. Smith Middle School. Ayana Johnson of Albert Kamen Middle School. Cooper Mathern of J.B. Martin Middle School. Elementary School Students of the Year, Gabby Gascon of Luling Elementary School. Bella Gurley of Ethel Scheffner Elementary School. Skylar Johnson of Narco Elementary School. Layla Perkins of Lakewood Elementary School. Joseph Porter of R.J. Vial Elementary School. Christian Reed of St. Rose Elementary School. <laughs> 
let's give all 12 of our students of the year a huge round of applause for their accomplishments. At this time, I would like to invite school board president Alex Suffren to the program for some comments. What a tremendous accomplishment to be the one student selected to represent your school as student of the year. I am certain that you will remember this occasion for many years with a great deal of pride. I would like to congratulate all 12 of our students of the year, your personal families and your school families. Being a student role model is never easy, but being a student role model in a year like this one is definitely an accomplishment to be celebrated and praised. You may not realize it, but I can guarantee that not only do you serve as role models for your peers, but you also serve as role models for all of us in the field of education. You inspire us, school board members, administrators, and teachers to continually push ourselves to, like you, strive for the best. I look forward to our future because of students like you. The fields of medicine and science will advance because of Gracie, Bodie, Ayana, and Gabby. Layla and Cooper may be middle school students now, but they will one day work to enhance our quality of life through the legal system. In a building designed by Scholar, Hannah will teach the leaders of tomorrow by engaging her students in a discussion of the latest book written by Layla. And we will get dressed in clothes purchased from Bella's store to watch Christian in an NBA game or Joseph in a Major League Baseball game. Our future is definitely bright. I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate you along with my fellow school board members. I would like to introduce them at this time. Please stand as I call your name. Vice President, Mr. Art O'Quinn, District 7. Immediate past president, Mrs. Melinda Bernard from District 2. <laughs> Mr. Ellis Alexander from District 1. <laughs> Mr. Sonny Savoy from District 4. <laughs> Mr. John Smith from District 5. <laughs> and Mr. Jay Robichaud from District 6. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Suffren. I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Ken Ortling, for some comments. Thank you, Ms. Grande. Good evening, everyone. Isn't this a fantastic night? Woo! First of all, it's my pleasure to join all of you at this magnificent celebration of our students of the year. Thank you board members for always being available to support the programs that recognize our most valued asset, our students. Your leadership and decision making is consistently guided by their best interest. Thank you Public Information Department, including Stevie Cravetta, Director of Public Information, Regina McMillan, Mason Dolphin, and Stacey DeJean, who worked as a team with the Satellite Center's team members and facilitators to produce this remarkable event and evening. Please give them all a round of applause. Our most significant gratitude goes to our parents, our grandparents, family members, teachers, administrators, school system leaders, employees that are determined to make this night and these students' lives 
better each and every day. Their determined and collaborative efforts to support the comprehensive growth of each of these students honored tonight never goes unnoticed. You have and continue to shape their talents, groom their future, support their leadership development, and most of all, for what I've seen here tonight and through the schools, raise them with a benevolent mind and a caring heart. Now to our students. Each and every one of you are special. Regardless of the experiences that may have been tarnished due to Hurricane Ida or COVID-19 or challenges that you have personally had to overcome or opportunities that you've made in spite of those challenges, you have stood as leaders among your peers. True leaders look at challenges as opportunities and make the most out of any adverse situation. You have done that. Your work ethic, leadership, integrity, humility, and courage are admired not only by each other and those seated in this audience, but your classmates, your teachers, your administrators, and those who look upon you and the great work that you do each and every day. Yet, this is only tonight, is only the beginning for you. Tonight should serve as a reminder that your journey to success has and will continue to be built upon self-discipline, having a positive attitude, and most importantly, always placing others before yourself. You are leaders destined for great things. We can all see that. Like Mr. Suffern said, we're, we are blessed to have them in our future. But your success will not be measured to how famous you become, how big your house is, how many followers you have on Instagram or Chit Chat or Skip Chat or whatever that chat is, Snapchat. When you bring out the best in others, help them succeed, help them become better people, you ultimately bring the best out in yourself. And that success is absolutely immeasurable. I have no doubt that each and every one of you will excel in your future roles and positively contribute to the future well-being of your school, of your community, of your state, of this country, and the world. Congratulations again for this very well-deserved honor. And remember, life is a gift, open once. So make sure you cherish it by making each and every moment count. Now, I think I'm ready to hear Ms. Grande reveal our elementary, middle, and high school students of the year. Ms. Grande. Dr. Ortland, get your phone ready so we can chit chat. All right, chit chat. Okay. All of the students recognized tonight are truly the best of the best. However, the state only allows one fifth grader, one eighth grader, and one twelfth grader from each parish to advance to the regional level of the competition. At this time, I will announce the three students chosen by the Student Achievement Committee to advance to the regional competition. The 2021-2022 St. Charles Parish High School Student of the Year is Bodant Ravapati of Destrehan High School.
the 2021-2022 St. Charles Parish Middle School Student of the Year is Harry Hurst Middle School's Hannah Burst. The 2021-2022 St. Charles Parish Elementary School Student of the Year is Lakewood Elementary School's Layla Perkins. Congratulations to our students of the year. This concludes our awards presentation. Group pictures will be taken on the stage of all 12 of our students of the year before they are dismissed. Thank you and please, please drive home safely.